So fuck those workers for out for 13 weeks on strike over pay. We've settled our dispute. Ultimately, we did not quite get what we wanted, and we have to be very honest about that. But when we go back to work, we will have double the membership, we will have double the amount of reps, and in every major workplace now, if anything happens, any attack, we know that we'll be in contact with each other and we'll have each other's backs. St Mungo's workers work with people who've got long-term complex needs. Often there might be a short-term experience that has led to losing their home to sofa surfing to very quickly on the night buses onto the streets without real risk of exploitation and pulled into drugs and alcohol just in order to numb the pain of their lives and where they found themselves. St Mungo's and other services, they're underfunded. The hostels are under-resourced. There's a lack of training, a lack of support, and a lack of pay, which means you cannot keep your staff long-term to build up that really important rapport with your client group. last year! There's a need to fight for the future of the homelessness sector. Because there is a race to the bottom at the moment. There is increased corporatisation. There is exorbitant salaries for chief executives while frontline workers are faced with food bank, are faced with housing insecurity. So this march, I hope, will be the start of something across our sector. Waterloo was quite a landmark area for rough sleepers. It was the site of Kabul City just over there where the iMac is. I've lived in Waterloo for over 25 years. I work for the Bridge at Waterloo, the secular charity at the church, set up to do community outreach and work with homeless people, with refugees. I've seen the cardboard city come and go, and it's coming back. If you go in that roundabout now, there are loads of people sleeping in it, so I'm really angry about it. We've got people sleeping rough in our churchyard. Waterloo, there's lots of social housing still, thank God. 13 housing co-ops. So in a way, Waterloo also has a lot of the solution. If the community can buy the land, like Coin Street did, they can build four housing co-ops. That's what we need. My dad was street homeless in London for a couple of decades, and then there was a grassroots movement in the late 50s, early 60s, and Mungo's was part of that grassroots movement. He was also involved in organising in the beginnings of Mungo's. Now, my dad would be turning in his grave if he knew that a home office boss who's been in charge of concentration camps, was running Mungo's. She oversaw the commissioning of horrific detention centres, processing centres, cramming in asylum seekers which were deemed by the courts to be unlawful. One of the architects of the Rwanda policy before she came over to St Mungo's. Pay your workers fair pay! Three organisations have been on strike this year. Hestia, Shelter have all come out and said enough is enough. Look at it! Shame on you! SHP! Shame on you! Crisis! Shame on you! Shelter! Shame on you! Samantha's! Shame on you! We want to hold another demonstration closer to Christmas in December when everyone's talking about homelessness and we make this a national demonstration. Oh.